Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be doing a shipping video. So I'm going to show you guys how to ship consoles. So we got PS2 here that has to go out, PS4 Pro, and then we got an Oculus Rift S that has to go out. So I'm going to show you guys what boxes I use and how um, to also Frankenstein a box because this box is a little kind of awkward. I usually get my boxes from Walmart or Home Depot, but I usually have to break them down a little bit. So I'll show you how to do that. But first let's do the PS2 and then also uh, just for the video, none of these have to go out, some of the games that sold, but we'll do one um, just to show you guys how we ship it um, properly. So let's get into the PS2 first. All right, guys, so the box that I'm using is this 12 by 8 by 10, and this is from Walmart, and I believe they're under a dollar a box, not too sure. But as you see inside, I put some bubble wrap down, and this is for the PS2 fat, and you can see you know, I have it bubble wrapped. And then I'm just going to throw it in here, nice and snug. And then just for the controller and the cords, I'll just throw it in like a padded flat rate, just like this. Close that up, put it right on top, and then I'll just lay more bubble wrap on top of that. And that's it. Now we're done. So nice and secure. I'm good to go. So I'll show you guys how to, what shipping service we use to ship this out the cheapest way. So let's get over and do that. All right guys, so we have the dimensions that we put. So now we're gonna put this on the scale. And the scale that I'm using is a pretty cheap one. It's from Walmart, it's like a food scale. It goes up to 15 pounds. And you can see it is about 6.89 ounces. So we're gonna round that to, um, six pounds nine ounces always round up never round down and then also if you are doing more heavier packages you know we have this scale right here it goes up to 75 pounds but um yeah these are like 15 bucks at walmart little food scale so you can see some of the options here we got fedex home delivery for 13 dollars the first option then uh UPS second day, UPS next. So we're gonna choose um, FedEx home delivery is usually the cheapest, but I'll also check UPS. I know there's some people that do pirate ship as well. So it looks like our label is gonna cost th around $13. Go to home, home delivery. So our, it's gonna be 1305 for that label. So that's actually pretty good. So that's how we do that. For the people wondering, this is the printer that I use. This is a 4XL Dymo. And you can get those for like probably 150, 200 bucks on eBay. And then we got the label here. We're gonna slap that on. You, it literally took me like a minute or less to ship, to pack this, you know? And uh, you know, a lot of people complain about shipping systems. It takes a while, whatever. Well, usually should take a couple minutes, no, no more than that. All right, guys, so we have the Oculus Rift S here. I put some bubble wrap in there. All right, so close this up. And then this box right here is from the USPS padded flat rates that came in. And I'm just reusing the box. So I'm just gonna put this in there like that. And we're gonna have to obviously Frankenstein this box. So put some padding inside right here so it doesn't move and then we'll cut this box down this is the box so it's okay. going to be 14 inches mm -hmm. and you want to give it at least half an inch so i'm going to go to 14 and a half to give it a little space okay so we can cut down to there then make the whole box so it's pretty simple see i don't i'm like the dumb one i don't know how to do this kind of stuff so that's why i'm glad to have her because she knows how to do this stuff pretty quickly but if you guys want more in-depth tutorials on frankensteining boxes let me know and we can do that, but yeah, that's how we do that. So we're gonna cut it down and then ship this baby out. All right, guys, so the label for this box, it weighed five pounds. For FedEx home delivery, it was $17 and like 80 cents. And then the fees on that $200 sale was about $17 and 90 cents. So that's about 35, $36. I paid a hundred. So that's a quick 60 to $62 profit in one day. So pretty good. All right, guys, so the last one is going to be the PS4 Pro. And 
before I get into that, I wanted to show you guys how I do video games. So for the video games, I just put some bubble wrap in there like that to protect the disc and I just slide it into like a poly miller. If it's more like a higher end game, for example, say like Splatoon 3, brand new sealed, um, you know, and a more expensive game, I'll probably put it in a box. But even with like this, I'll just bubble wrap it really good and just throw it in a poly miller, uh, make it nice and tight. And um, yeah, so that's how I ship my video games. Haven't had any issues. And then say for like an N64 game, I'll just bubble wrap it really good and just throw it in a poly bag or a uh, bubble mail or whatever. Um, little stuff like this, same thing, bubble wrap really good. Then just throw it in a poly mail and that's pretty much it. And don't forget to take advantage of flat rates at the post office. These are all free. This is a medium flat rate. So whatever you fit in here is like 14, 15 bucks. And then there's another medium flat rate and these are all free you know, at usps.com or just go there in person. And this is a large flat rate. And there's there's different ones too, but these are the ones I mainly use. Um, so say if you can't, you don't have a box for, for like a PS4, but that, this won't fit in a large, but so you will have to like Frankenstein a box unless you got a better box option. But like there's certain systems that will fit in here that will save you money instead of using FedEx. Cause the large flat rate is like 18 bucks. So say if FedEx is 20, 20, plus dollars for shipping you can save a little money with usps for like 18 bucks hopefully that makes sense so let's get on to shipping the ps4 pro <laughs> 